people don't like feeling blackmailed, and that feeling is something that a lot of people had during this election. A lot of people felt that they were being blackmailed. I can't count how many times on Facebook there would be one of my gay friends saying something like, well, if you don't support Hillary, I'm unfriending you. Other people saying, I can't believe people don't support Hillary, they're so misogynistic. <laughs> it's, it's, it's taking like the, uh, trying to apply the progressive stack to the presidency. Okay, I mean, it's messed up. It's messed up. Oh, you need to vote for this person because they're a woman. Uh, no, I don't. You know, as I've said before, if we have, if we end up having a woman president, I'll be like, cool, we, we, we've finally made that milestone. That's a cool thing. Um, <clears throat> but if the person isn't qualified, uh, I'm not going to vote for them just because they're a woman. I don't, it's, that's, that's not really something to consider. Now, I'll admit in, in 2008, I did have uh, Obama's race as a consideration. It wasn't the primary reason, but it was definitely something that was a consideration in voting for him. And I, I wouldn't do that again, but I did do that in 2008. I'm kind of ashamed to, to, to admit it, but I, that's, that is how I felt. And so I know the mindset. I understand it. Um, it's this view that, well, someone that ha that is from a different dem demographic, they've experienced things differently, and that means they're going to uh, look at the country differently. And, and I suppose there could be some truth to that. Um, but that shouldn't be what someone focuses primarily on. It should be the policies, it should be... Uh, you know, the, the way that they speak to people, the way that they treat people, um, you know, where did they get the money, um, who do they actually have allegiance to, those sorts of things, right? And, you know, this election, you know, it, it, when, when people feel blackmailed like that, and they're not really, really stuck on voting for Hillary. When they start getting blackmailed like that, they're likely to do the opposite of what you're saying. Because when you're voting, you don't have your friend looking over your shoulder. You know? It's, it's personal. They're not going to see how you vote. And when you treat people like that, when 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 some when you when I say you when when people treat others in this way that well you 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 better support Hillary or I'm not I'm not going to be your friend. Um, yeah, it's going to make a lot of people uh, without ever telling you. Um, it's going to make a lot of people do exactly the opposite of what you tell them to, of what you've demanded that they do. Okay, we can't repeat this again. Never, ever, ever again. And if people try, we need to smear this shit in their face over and over and over again. Let's not do this again. Let's not pull this shit again. One of the problems that Democrats seem to have is that they don't seem to really, really stand up for their principles. It's when it comes to when it's uh, uh, when there's an election, they will they will stand up for uh, more towards what they think will win versus their actual principles. We can't do that again. We can't. We can't keep doing this shit. You know, we, we. I personally think that Sanders would have won. If Sanders would have been won the primaries, Sanders would have won against Trump. I don't think there would have been much of a problem with it. I think there would have been enough people on the left saying, "Great, we we have someone that we could, that that really stands up for our values." It doesn't matter if, oh, the right really doesn't like that. The right's going to vote the right anyway. You know, it's not that really that huge of a loss. Would there be more people on the right voting? Possibly. But Sanders really stood for most of the things, I mean, that, that Democrats usually say they're about. And especially what those that are, you know, pretty far on to the left say that they're about. I don't think there would have been a, a big problem. 
But instead, you know, let's apply the progressive stack to the presidency and then uh, give people guilt trips unless they agree with that progressive stack. So, as I said in that other video, public perception of Hillary was terrible. We need to pay attention to that as well. You know, there's usually a lot of people running. There's a lot of choices out there. Um, quite frankly, you know, any of the Democratic choices that were out there were better than Hillary. They were all better than Hillary. Unfortunately, I can't remember the names of the of some of the other ones. But when I when they were originally in the debates, I was like, they're making really good points. You know. Any of the candidates were better than Hillary. But when we start pushing that, well, we should vote for her because, oh, look, it's a woman. You know, when she'd sit there and when Hillary would, would put, uh, would say, well, you know, what's, what's a better insider than, than a woman? She'd, she'd just flat out say this. She would tell people to vote for her because she's a woman. And then you have the other people saying, well, if you don't for her, vote for her, you're misogynistic. People don't like that shit. Don't do that again. Seriously, don't do that again. You know, just to be blunt, it is the left's fault that Trump got elected. It is the left's fault. It doesn't matter how much you want to protest. No, no, it's the, it's the racists and the misogynists and the homophobes. No. Now, I'm going to state this. Okay, let me just put a caveat onto that. The people who proudly voted for Trump, okay, not the ones who just, they didn't want Hillary, no, the ones who really wanted Trump. You know, you might yourself, you may not be racist or misogynistic or homophobic or, or sexist or whatever, right? You may not be that yourself. But you did vote someone in whom the public perceives as being all of those things. You know, whether Trump actually is that way or not, who knows? We're, we're going to find out. I mean, Trump is definitely... Sorry, Trump is definitely misogynistic. I can't... I can't... I, I can't deny that. This, the shit that he's said to women, the way that he's treated women, it's messed up. And you might disagree on my... The, the word that I'm using, because, I mean, I don't think that Trump hates women, but he certainly doesn't look at them as equals to men in hardly any way. And doesn't really feel that their agency is very important. So, you know, in that regard, I'd, I would say that he's pretty misogynistic. But, uh, you know, for, for most of the other stuff... Whether he is those things or not, it's how the public perceives him. And if you voted for him happily, and not just because you didn't want Hillary, you're, you're, you're actively supporting something that seems, it's like, oh, I'm not a racist, but I support someone who is. I am not misogynistic, but I support someone who is. You know, it, it's that sort of thing, you know? So I, I got to put that caveat on it. I'm not saying that the people who voted for him are, are those things, especially not the ones who just were like, man, I just can't stand Hillary, you know? And I can't blame some of the people who voted uh, for Trump out of spite because they're constantly being bombarded with their friends telling them that uh, they're piles of shit if they don't support Hillary. I mean, some people were saying to support this, acting this way even before the primaries. It's just like, really? Really? The progressive stack is that fucking important to you? Really? And, and now, if you don't know what the progressive stack is, you know, uh, you, know you can read up on it. I can, I, why don't I just kind of describe what it kind of is? It's that idea that those who are the most suppressed 
get to go first or speak first or whatever. And those who are the, the, uh, the least oppressed get to speak last. You know, uh, a systematically oppressed type of thing. You know, the way that our system is. And it really can be argued that, you know, systematically or or statistically or whatever that that these different demographics are oppressed more or whatever you can you can really measure it but you know it, i just it's this idea oh the one that's the most oppressed let's put them up so you know that idea does go into uh uh into the way that people are voting but you know you, you that idea of a progressive stack uh, it initially has been used uh, the most at colleges. And uh, that's why there's this thing called no no platforming, where basically straight white guys end up not even being able to have a platform to speak on uh, at some of these colleges because, well, they're they're uh, they're the oppressors or they're not oppressed enough. And even gay men, have been, you know, well, you're you're a man and you're white, so therefore, uh, you know, you're not oppressed enough. You know, the oppression Olympics. Um, yeah, that that shit should have stayed uh, in textbooks. That's how I feel about that. The uh, uh, the the progressive stack, anyway. I mean, as far as you know, whether someone is oppressed or not, yet yeah, fine, fine, but. You know, uh, telling someone that they don't get to speak because uh, they're not oppressed enough, it, it's, it's shit. It's just other shit. Um, and it's sad that all this stuff that, that people have been talking about for so long when it comes to the Oppression Olympics and the Progressive Stack and all that stuff, it's sad that what it ended up affecting the most ended up being the most important position in the United States, and that's the president. Sad that that, that whole mindset and it, people's hatred of that kind of mindset, and with good reason to hate that kind of mindset, affected the presidency. Sad. Seriously, drop the progressive stack. Just throw it in the fucking garbage where it belongs. Okay. The person who would do the best job is the person who should have the job. Flat out. The person who has the most skills in this area should do the job that has those skills. They should get it first. The person who's the most talented. And yes, there is such a thing as talent. There is such a thing as, as someone having just naturally being good at certain things. And those people should, should get the jobs that they are good at those things. Someone being good at fighting to get to a certain position, that doesn't automatically qualify someone for that position. There are the people that say, well, Hillary fought so hard. Well, she did fight hard, but that doesn't mean she automatically deserves the position. So, you know, we have no one to blame but ourselves. When it comes to the left, I'm speaking to the left here, we have no one to blame but ourselves. No more of these guilt trips, no more of this blackmailing, no more of it. We need to do the right thing in 2020. We need to do the right thing. We need to stand up for the candidate that actually... Uh, is the best is the one that that stands up for our values and has proven that they will continue to try to stand up for their values so 